The TPP, it's been six months since the TPP was signed, but, it will, but will it be ever ratified? That's what I want to know. What is the likelihood of it coming into effect? Very, very controversial multi-country free trade deal. What do you think? What do you think of it? Will it ever happen? Jamie Lee Ross. Well, like I think during the lame duck session in Congress, it has a possibility of going ahead. Um, but the important thing for New Zealand is, do we want to increase jobs? Do we want to increase wages? If so, we have Trump. to export more. Trump. That's what TPP is all about. Trump. It's about getting Trump more value for New Zealand. Trump and Clinton don't want it. Well, Barack Obama want does want it. Barack Obama is currently the president, and Barack Obama is pushing it. He's pushing it because he wants higher wages for his country. He wants to see his country as open to the rest of the world, just like New Zealand needs to be. Oh, we need to be open and not isolationist like let's a number of our friends here. Right. Let's, let's, let's do a cheer test. Who wants the TPP? Yeah! Yeah! Okay. All right. All right. Who, who is anti-TPP? Just Cinder at Dune, do you want it? Yes, she does. No, Deep I'm down really she does. sceptical. I, Deep down she you, does. I want what a free trade Helen agreement. This it? is not a free trade agreement. Oh. It is so much more. It's so much hang more. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. Meat, wine, horticulture, all these exporters, yeah. Kiwi exporters, and what they a, stand to gain. And what a, no, what a rubbish, local businesses. No, what a rubbish deal dairy got in this. And this is what it was oh. all meant to be about. The single but biggest winner. Wallace. Dairy's the single hang biggest winner. Lee. I'm actually really skeptical about whether this is really going to really come to fruition because there's limited political capital in America right now. The Democrats will be focused on stopping Trump. Right. Will Obama use his political capital to try and get Republicans on side for the TPP? Okay, I'm, Dana, I'm Dana, skeptical. Let, let me, I want to ask you about this, this sort of trade here. Is the TPP a, a throwback to another trickle-down era? We've gone past that. Yeah. We're past it. We're in the modern era. This is old school stuff. I don't even understand your question, but look, I'm in favour of the TPP because it has opportunities for New Zealanders and all the negatives turned out to be baseless scaremongering. Unfortunately, it appears that Labour, the Greens and New Zealand First, in cahoots with their American <laughs> ally Don Donald Trump, may have defeated the TPP, and that's a great shame. The more and more we know about the TPP, for example, the investor st state dispute settlements, the more there are so many fish hooks in no, these no, sorts of big deals. The people that kept themselves fish hooks, informed David. Wallace knew about that months and years ago, and the fact and is that it is them. not a threat okay. to the integrity of New Zealand. Matilda, are you, are you anti-trade? Oh, good trade is great. Good trade has been great for our country. Okay. Yeah, but this is not a good trade agreement. So I mean, that's good? the problem. That's the thing. What's good trade, what's, yes. What's bad good, agreements, what's, no. What's good trade look like? Good trade has deals that do benefit both countries or all of the countries involved Check. well. Does yep. not, does yep. not, yep. does not strip away the rights of countries to make it their doesn't. policy and law it decisions doesn't. themselves. Okay, well, well, does not take away sovereignty. From the UN, then does not take away sovereignty and does not allow corporate entities to sue governments. Well, our existing trade deals do yeah, that. So, I mean, you know, no, basic like, things like that. Human rights, okay. This is total intellectual bankruptcy. She doesn't even have an argument. Pipe David, 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 pipe have an down. Argument. Ty Hope, Ty Hope, listen, <laughs> Hayley's right in the audience somewhere there. Hayley, where are you? Yes, I found myself a victim. What do you think of the TPPA? Well, I think the TPPA has uh, uh, got to... Uh, a secret sort of way of letting big money grab even more than they're already grabbing. So do you think it sort of gives the corporate the lobbyists a bit more control? Well, it's going to allow the, the big corporations oh, to grab countries, view. not just other entities. Well, there you go. Are we going to lose our sovereignty? Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Is there anybody around me who supports it? I need to find a supporter of... I'm on the wrong side. Go there, boy. Go the other Maybe way. Maybe... Go, go through the audience, How am I going to get there? Going through here. Go, go here through we the go. audience. I can see some yellow T-shirts. Possibly the supporters go. of the TPPA. Follow me. Here, here we go. go. Hayley's going through we go. Here we go. Here's a supporter. Yeah, I'm support. guessing of the TPPA. And why? Um, well, it's better than not signing it. It gives us more trade um, deals. It gives us more opportunities to access overseas markets. So how can you be against it? But wouldn't it be better for the top few percent? Everybody gets wealthier when we trade with other people. 
I heard that before. I've heard that before with trickle down. That didn't really seem to work, did it? So I didn't hear that. I've heard that before with the trickle down economics, and that didn't seem to work. It's not trickle down economics. You, you don't make yourself wealthier by putting up walls and not trading with people. Oh, oh, Wes, well, so you've got something to say, don't you? You need to actually get an open and better deal. That's the problem with the TPP. It was all done behind closed doors. Nobody knows what the deal is until it's over and done with. And so, quite frankly, the people of New Zealand need to know what's there and they need to know what it is, and they need to actually have it benefit them, not just the corporations. Oh, I like your words. Back to you, Wallace. Let's correct the sovereignty issue. Let's correct the sovereignty issue. If New Zealand wants to regulate for health benefits, for environmental benefits, we still can. Wait, we wait, still wait, can. Wait, wait, there are significant wait, protections wait, wait, wait. in there. Wait, Do wait, we wait, really wait, want to stand wait, by wait, when a third wait, of the world's wait, GDP wait, goes off and does wait, a trade wait, agreement, wait, and we're excluded from okay, it? Just that is a risk we can't all right. question. Jamie Lee, under the TPPA, can we ban foreign-based speculators in our residential housing we market. We can put in place taxes no. that stop no, them from buying houses. Can't. We can put in place no, taxes if we can't. want to. No, but why can't. would we need to when no, they only account for 5% of no, all purchases? All right. Labor's argument from this is wrong. All right, that's a fair... That's, that's and a every, everything they wanted in the agreement can be provided a, Okay, just, just, brief, just briefly around the bit so I can get clear. The TPP, do you, very clear, do you think it'll happen? Uh, very, uh, it's unlikely in the near future, but it could well still. Will it happen? I think it should, but I don't think it will. Okay, right, interesting. Jacinda, do you think Based it'll happen? Based on what's happening in the US, I think it's unlikely. Do you think it'll happen, The Jamie? world believes in free trade and it probably will go ahead. All right, very, very, very interesting. What do you think about the uh, TPPA? I'd love to hear your thoughts at Backbenders TV. We're